Where do the people of Cyprus really come from? For centuries, historians, archaeologists, and local communities have debated the origins of this island's population. Some say Cypriots descend mostly from ancient Greek settlers who arrived thousands of years ago. Others suggest a mix of influences from nearby regions, Phoenicians, Egyptians, Anatolians, or even distant European and Middle Eastern groups. But until recently, the full story was hidden beneath layers of history, legend, and migration. Now, for the first time, DNA research is providing answers, and what scientists have uncovered is more surprising than anyone could have imagined. So stay with me until the end because we're about to dive deep into the hidden history embedded in Cyprus DNA, a story shaped by ancient farmers, invaders, traders, and civilizations that rose and fell over millennia. Before we begin, let me ask you this. What do you think defines the origins of Cypriots? Is it Greek, Anatolian, Levantine, or a combination of many sources? Write your thoughts in the comments while we uncover the truth. The people of Cyprus didn't appear overnight as a single group. The island has been inhabited for thousands of years, and over that time, countless waves of migration, trade, conquest, and settlement left their marks, not just in culture, but in the very DNA of its people. Scientists studying ancient and modern Cypriot genomes have discovered that the story is far richer and far more complex than previously imagined. The first major insight is that the roots of Cypriot DNA go far deeper than the classical Greek colonization. Modern Cypriots carry genetic signatures from some of the earliest farming communities in the region, dating back almost 10,000 years. These were people who moved from the Fertile Crescent into the island, planting crops, domesticating animals, and establishing permanent settlements. Their DNA forms the foundation upon which all later influences were layered. Even before classical history took shape, Cyprus was a crossroads of the eastern Mediterranean. Traders, fishermen, and settlers moved across its shores, leaving traces of their presence in both material culture and genetics. Ancient civilizations like the Phoenicians, who controlled the coasts of modern-day Lebanon, brought their genes and traditions to the island. Egyptian influence arrived through commerce and occasional military campaigns. Anatolian groups, closely tied to the mainland of modern-day Turkey, also left a significant imprint. What scientists found astonishing, however, is how these layers of DNA didn't erase one another. Instead, they merged. The ancient Anatolian farmers remained present in the population, even as new waves of settlers arrived. Phoenician and Egyptian markers are visible but smaller, like delicate brushstrokes on a centuries-old painting. Each wave of influence added nuance to the Cypriot genetic story, without erasing what came before. And this pattern continued through the Bronze Age. Cities like Encomi flourished, connecting Cyprus to the wider Mediterranean world. Traders and artisans from Mycenaean Greece arrived, mixing with the existing populations. Their presence left a clear genetic signature that still survives today. This means that the Greek influence we often associate with Cyprus is only one part of a much older, more complex tapestry. But what about the later waves of migration? During the Iron Age and Classical period, the island saw influences from Assyrians, Persians, and even Egyptians once again. These interactions were not just military or political, they brought families, artisans, and settlers who merged into local communities. Modern Cypriot DNA still reflects these ancient connections, showing that the island's people are not the descendants of a single migration, but the living result of thousands of years of mixing. As we move forward in time, the Bronze Age marks a turning point for Cyprus. This was a period of dramatic growth, trade, and cultural exchange, and the genetic record mirrors this dynamic history. Archaeological sites across the island, like in Komi and Kitian, reveal not only advanced urban life, but also connections to distant lands. Cyprus was no isolated outpost, it was a hub in the eastern Mediterranean, attracting merchants, craftsmen, and settlers from multiple regions. One of the most striking findings from DNA studies is the strong Mycenaean Greek influence during this period. Around 1400 to 1100 BCE, Greek-speaking populations from the mainland arrived on the island. 
They brought with them new pottery styles, religious practices, and political structures. But genetic analysis shows that while they were culturally influential, they were not a massive demographic replacement. Instead, they blended with the pre-existing population, which included Anatolian farmers, Phoenicians, and local communities that had been on the island for millennia. The result was a gene pool that was both deeply rooted and increasingly diverse. At the same time, Cyprus was connected to other major civilizations. Phoenicians from the Levant established coastal settlements and trading posts, introducing another layer of ancestry. DNA reveals traces of Levantine genes, particularly along the southern coasts, highlighting how trade and settlement shaped the population. These genetic contributions may have been smaller than the Mycenaean influx, but they were significant enough to remain detectable thousands of years later. Egyptian influence also played a role, though more sporadically. During the New Kingdom period, Cyprus fell under Egyptian political and military influence, especially along strategic ports and trade hubs. Soldiers, administrators, and merchants from Egypt brought their DNA with them, further enriching the island's complex genetic landscape. Modern Cypriots carry small but notable Egyptian markers, evidence of this ancient interaction. The Late Bronze Age collapse, around 1200 BCE, saw dramatic upheavals across the eastern Mediterranean. Cities were destroyed, populations were displaced, and trade networks were disrupted. Yet Cyprus retained a remarkable continuity. Ancient DNA shows that while there were disruptions, the core population remained resilient. People on the island absorbed new arrivals while maintaining a strong connection to their earlier Anatolian and Levantine roots. As the classical period unfolded, Cyprus entered another chapter of foreign influence in genetic mixing. The island came under the sway of powerful empires, the Assyrians, the Egyptians once again, and later the Persians. These empires introduced administrators, military personnel, and settlers who intermarried with local families. DNA analysis from burials during this era shows a mosaic of ancestry, Anatolian, Levantine, Egyptian, and even traces of Greek. Each layer tells a story of Cyprus as a crossroads, a place where the Mediterranean and Near Eastern worlds collided. What makes this period particularly fascinating is how the ancient genetic layers remained detectable despite centuries of change. Modern Cypriots still carry a strong component from these early populations, demonstrating that even waves of conquest or colonization rarely erase the foundations laid by earlier settlers. In fact, every new arrival blended into the existing population, creating a continuity that links the island's present inhabitants to people who lived there thousands of years ago. By the time the first millennium BCE came to a close, Cyprus had already developed into one of the most genetically complex populations in the eastern Mediterranean. The DNA of the island's people reflected centuries of migration, trade, conquest, and settlement. From Anatolian farmers to Mycenaean Greeks, Phoenicians, Egyptians, and later empires, each group contributed threads to a vibrant tapestry that survives to this day. The story of Cyprus becomes even more intricate during the Hellenistic period. Following the conquests of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BCE, the island came under the influence of Greek-speaking rulers who established cities, built temples, and promoted Hellenic culture. Archaeological evidence shows a flourishing of Greek architecture, language, and art, but DNA tells a more nuanced story. While cultural Hellenization was profound, genetic analysis reveals that the local population retained much of its pre-existing ancestry. The descendants of Bronze Age settlers, Anatolian farmers, Phoenicians, Egyptians, and Mycenaean Greeks, remains the backbone of Cypriot DNA. The Hellenistic period added new genetic threads, likely from Greek colonists, mercenaries, and administrators who settled on the island. Yet even this wave of migration did not overwrite the ancient foundation. Instead, it merged into the existing population, further increasing genetic diversity. With the arrival of the Roman Empire in the first century BCE, Cyprus became part of a vast, interconnected world stretching from Britain to North Africa. Roman administration, trade, and military presence brought people from across the empire to the island. DNA studies reveal subtle traces of Italian, Balkan, and even North African ancestry from this era. 
These contributions were not massive, but they added small, detectable layers to the genetic makeup of Cypriots. The Byzantine period, beginning around the 4th century CE, added another chapter to this evolving story. Christianity spread across the island, monasteries were established, and Byzantine administrators and soldiers settled in key towns. Once again, these newcomers contributed new genetic signals, but the underlying genetic foundation, the ancient Anatolian, Levantine, and Hellenic ancestry, remained remarkably resilient. One of the most surprising findings from these centuries is the continuity of local lineages despite centuries of foreign rule. Even as the island changed hands politically, the people themselves maintained deep-rooted connections to their ancestors. This resilience is a recurring theme in Cypriot history. While empires came and went, the core population persisted, absorbing newcomers without losing its identity. Trade continued to play a major role in shaping the island's genetics. Cypriot ports were central nodes in Mediterranean commerce, linking Europe, the Near East, and North Africa. Merchants, sailors, and travelers brought not only goods and ideas, but also their genes. DNA analysis from Byzantine-era burials reveals faint but detectable contributions from the wider Mediterranean world, including southern Italy, the Levant, and even North Africa. These influences layered atop the deep local ancestry, creating a complex and rich genetic tapestry. Interestingly, the Byzantine era also left a cultural imprint that reinforced genetic continuity. Orthodox Christianity, local traditions, and social structures created tight-knit communities, reducing the impact of random migration on the gene pool. While foreign soldiers or officials occasionally arrived, they often married locally or returned to their homelands, leaving only subtle traces in the DNA. By the time the Byzantine period waned and new powers emerged in the eastern Mediterranean, the people of Cyprus already carried thousands of years of accumulated history in their genes. Each successive wave, Hellenistic Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines, added layers to the DNA of the island's inhabitants. Yet despite the arrivals and departures of countless rulers, the deep foundations laid by Bronze Age and early Iron Age populations remained intact. This continuity sets Cyprus apart from many other regions in the Mediterranean. While cultural change was constant, the genetic roots of the population were remarkably stable. The island's DNA tells a story not just of migration and conquest, but of resilience and continuity, of people who lived through centuries of upheaval while maintaining a living connection to their ancient ancestors. As the Byzantine Empire weakened, Cyprus entered a period of dramatic political and cultural change. In 1192 CE, Richard the Lionheart captured the island, and shortly after, the Lusignan dynasty established a feudal kingdom. This marked the beginning of Western European influence, bringing French-speaking nobles, administrators, and settlers to Cyprus. Genetic studies reveal traces of these Latin settlers in the modern population, though their overall contribution is relatively small. Unlike earlier waves, which blended gradually over centuries, these newcomers often formed a ruling elite, marrying locally but leaving a lighter genetic footprint. Nonetheless, even subtle genetic signatures from the Lusignans persist today, particularly in families whose ancestry can be traced to medieval coastal towns. The Venetian period, beginning in the late 15th century, introduced another layer of influence. Venetian merchants and soldiers established fortified cities and trade networks, connecting Cyprus to Italy and beyond. Again, DNA from this era shows small but detectable Italian and Mediterranean European contributions. These additions were minor compared to the deeper Anatolian, Levantine, and Hellenic foundations, yet they add a unique texture to the Cypriot genetic landscape. During this period, Cyprus remained a crossroads of the Mediterranean. Trade, war, and migration brought additional interactions with North Africa, the Levant, and even distant European regions. Each contact added subtle genetic traces, creating a rich mosaic that reflects both the island's isolation and its openness to the wider world. 
Despite these changes, the medieval populations largely preserved continuity with the ancient and classical populations. DNA shows that the core of Cypriot ancestry remained rooted in Bronze Age and Hellenic inhabitants, layered now with medieval European threads. This demonstrates once more the resilience of local lineages, capable of absorbing newcomers without losing identity. The next major chapter arrived in 1571 when the Ottoman Empire conquered Cyprus. Turkish settlers, soldiers, and administrators established a long-lasting presence. Over time, some intermarried with local communities, contributing central Anatolian and Balkan genetic signatures. Yet, just as with previous migrations, the newcomers merged with the existing population rather than replacing it. Ottoman rule also facilitated internal movement within the empire. Families from Anatolia, the Balkans, and the Middle East sometimes relocated to Cyprus for trade, military service, or governance. Their DNA left a modest but noticeable imprint, especially in urban centers like Nicosia and Larnaca. At the same time, smaller communities of Armenians, Maronites, and other minority groups preserved unique genetic and cultural markers. The 19th and 20th centuries brought additional layers of complexity. European colonial powers, particularly the British, influenced Cyprus politically and economically. While their genetic impact was minimal, the movement of people for administration, military service, and commerce continued to introduce new diversity. Today, modern Cypriots carry a remarkable combination of genetic layers spanning nearly 10,000 years. The deepest roots trace back to ancient Anatolian and Levantine farmers, whose DNA forms the backbone of the population. Overlaid on this foundation are contributions from Mycenaean Greeks, Phoenicians, Egyptians, Romans, Byzantines, Lusignans, Venetians, and Ottoman Turks. Each group left a mark, yet none erased the core identity of the island's people. Scientific studies reveal another surprising insight. Despite thousands of years of migration and conquest, Cypriot DNA is remarkably coherent across the island. Regional differences exist. Coastal areas show slightly stronger Mediterranean and Levantine influences, while central and southern regions retain a purer blend of Anatolian and Bronze Age ancestry. Yet the underlying continuity emphasizes the resilience of the population through centuries of upheaval. This genetic story has profound implications. It shows that the people of Cyprus are not merely products of one era or one migration. They are the living descendants of a complex, interconnected history. Their DNA tells of farmers who first tilled the land, traders who sailed the Mediterranean, empires that rose and fell, and settlers who left subtle imprints without displacing the past. It is a story of survival, blending, and identity, an intricate mosaic encoded in every Cypriot today. So, the next time you think about the origins of Cyprus, remember, it is not a simple story of conquest or colonization. It is a story written over millennia, visible in ancient ruins, enduring traditions, and, most remarkably, in the DNA of the people themselves. Scientists have uncovered a tapestry more complex, more surprising, and far richer than anyone imagined, a testament to the resilience and continuity of human life on this extraordinary island. If you've ever wondered about your own ancestry, Cyprus shows how genetics can reveal hidden histories, connecting us to events, peoples, and places far beyond our imagination. Share your thoughts in the comments. Have you traced your roots? Did you find connections you never expected? This is the power of DNA. It turns the past into a story written in every cell of our bodies. And if you enjoyed this journey through the hidden origins of Cyprus, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more deep dives into human history, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring the past. It is closer than you think.